Hi, my name is Jessica Watkins, and I am a level designer with C17 at the Guildhall at SMU. Today we'll be going over a series of tutorials for the UDK matinee. Please make sure you have the UDK December 2011 build installed. Thanks for watching, and if you like our videos, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks! So, if you guys have been following along on our tutorial series, we're at our final step here. We're actually going to make a camera through the Kismet and Matinee that will fly and zoom in to an object that we have. As you can see here, I just have a really simple scene set up, and I'm going to have it to where a player walks into a trigger, which will then trigger a camera to fly and focus in on this object hanging out on the wall here. So the first thing we need to do is actually add the camera. So, how we do that is we go to our content browser, we then go to our actor classes, we click on camera actor, and close out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to say add camera actor here. And what that's going to do is add my camera here. Now, I could sit here and move my camera around with the actual like widget, but that's not very effective. So what we're going to do is deselect the camera for a minute. Make sure you don't have anything at all selected. I'm just going to actually zoom out real fast. We're going to go to this lock selected actors to camera button. We're going to click that, and then we're going to click on our camera. What that's going to do is put us right in the viewpoint of the camera, which is where we want to be. Next, we're going to open up our Kismet. We're going to go to File, New Matinee, and then we're going to close that down for just a second. And then we're going to click on our trigger that we have over here, which I have in my corner right over here. Oh, sorry about that. It's actually quite large, so I'm going to scale it down. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm actually looking through it. So if you have that turned on, you'll actually look through it. So here's my trigger. I'm going to move it out and in the corner just a little bit here. And then with my trigger selected, I'm going to go back into Kismet. And I'm going to say uh, new event, new event using trigger touched. I'm basically going to say touched to play. But even if we touch this right now, it won't actually play our matinee because we have to set that up through the matinee sequences. So what we're going to do now is make sure we have our camera selected, double click on our matinee, and we're going to have our matinee open. If you don't know how to use this, please go back and watch videos two and three to get a more in-depth look at the matinee. So to get started, we're going to go ahead and right click. We're going to say add new camera group. Make sure you have your camera selected and say we're just going to call this zoom and move. Don't put any spaces or special marks or anything like that. Then just click OK. So now it's going to bring up movement and FOV, FOV angle. What these two things do is the FOV angle lets you zoom in and out and change the angle of the camera. The movement also lets you change the angle of the camera as well as rotate and move the camera as it says. Pretty self-explanatory. So with FOV angle selected, we're going to go ahead and click on that, and then we're going to click on the camera so we can actually look through the camera and see what it's seeing. So right now, we're not actually centered on the image we want to be looking at, right? So I'm going to move this over so I can kind of see what I'm doing here, and then I'm going to look around. There's where I want to be. So I'm going to unclick that, make sure that this worked, which it did. Now, in order to make this zoom in and focus a little more, we're going to have this selected, we're going to click on our time slider here, and then we're just going to hit enter. Oh, sorry, I didn't select an active track, it would pop up with that error message, hit enter. Now I've got a keyframe here, it popped me back because I didn't set a keyframe. So now I'm going to set the angle to be about right about there. Now in order to change how much I'm zoomed in on this object, I'm going to right click, I'm sorry, I'm going to right click on the actual keyframe here, and go to set value. And I am, I'm sorry guys, you actually need to do the, you will actually set up the camera movement to face it through this. So we're going to right click on this and make sure we have our keyframe selected. We're actually going to turn it so it moves the camera. So now when we click on this keyframe, we'll have it already set on our object. Now our angle, we want to have the, the camera centered on our object. So we're going to, again, click on this keyframe right click, set value, and then we're going to go to about, oh, let's try 85. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We're going to go to our movement, make sure that that's still set where it was, 
Now we're just going to make this a really small, quick sequence. So I'm going to make it about 1.5 seconds. I'm going to move my slider bar out just a little bit to 0.5. I'm going to go to my movement here. I'm going to move my camera in my Unreal Matinee. I'm going to move it up a little bit and zoom it in just a tiny bit. I'm going to hit Enter. And then I'm going to go to one second. I'm going to go to my FOV angle. I'm going to hit, make sure that that's like I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to right click, set value, and I'm going to do, let's try 90 this time. Nope, backs me up a little bit. So I don't like that. Anytime you don't like it, you can always reset the values as long as you're clicking on the keyframes. So I'm going to try to set my value at about 80. That's a little too low. Let's try 70 and see where that puts us. All right, that looks pretty good to me. And then it'll just kind of sit there for 0.5 seconds. So our matinee sequence looks a little something like this. Boom. But if we go in and we build this right now, it won't actually work. In order to get this to work, we need to go to add, add new director group. So now you're actually like a director. So once you're in here, you're just going to make sure that your scrubber brush is on 0.0. .0. You're going to hit enter to add a new keyframe. It's going to cut to group, zoom and move which is what we want it to do. And now it's going to play. So with that all done, go ahead and say exit out of that. Exit out of that. We're going to go ahead and build everything. But before we build, what do we want to do? We want to save. I'm actually not going to save this as a deathmatch this time, just for easy sake. I'm just going to call this matinee tutorial level camera move. I'm going to hit save. Okay, it's apparently that's too long, so I'm going to just say camera. I'm just going to say camera. It's going to ask me if I want to save over. I'm going to say yes. There we go. Now it's all saved. I'm going to go ahead and build all. While it's building, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and get close right here, and then I'm going to play. Just say yes. And I'm going to try and walk over and find my trigger, and there we go. It did not work at all. So we got to go see where we messed up here. But it is moving to a certain point. So we're going to open up our Kismet. We're going to go ahead and open up our matinee. We're going to click on our movement keyframe first. Look through the camera's view. Oh, there we go. That's why. We're going to move it again. And actually, I'm going to unclick that. Click on my keyframe again. Click on my camera. Okay, now it should be good to go. I'm going to exit out of that. I'm going to save real fast. I'm going to go ahead and build all one more time. I take a couple seconds. Sorry about the delay, guys. I'm going to go ahead and close that up. I'm going to say play. I'm going to go ahead and say yes to that. I'm going to run back over here into my corner. It's still not working for some reason. So I'm actually going to look through my camera to see what's going on here. It looks like somehow my camera is not actually centered on my object. So I'm going to actually physically move my camera here and see if that fixes the problem that we seem to be having. I'm going to go ahead and go to build all real fast again. Again, guys, we're all learning. It's no big deal. going to go ahead and close out. I'm glad I'm showing you these mistakes in case you happen to run into them. I'm going to save my level. I'm going to go ahead and play. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to run into this corner. And there we go. It's still going back to that corner. So I need to see what's going on here. So I'm going to go into my Kismet. Go open up my matinee. I'm going to go into my movement track here. I'm going to actually look through my camera and see what's going on. There we go. Found the culprit. So I'm going to actually make sure that this is moved over just a little bit. Just like that. Alright. That should fix it now. I'm going to double check and look. turn my camera off. Turn it back on. Alrighty, there we go. That looks like it should be fixed. Go ahead and exit out of that. I'm going to go ahead and build all one more time.
going to go ahead and close. I'm going to save. I'm going to go ahead and play. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to go run into the corner. And there we go. Perfect. Excellent. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial over the basics of the camera movement in UDK. After the camera gets done moving around, it's going to just point me back where I was, which was facing the wall. No big deal. There is some more advanced things you could do, but since we're just trying to do simple things, no worries. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please continue to watch all videos from the Guild Hall. Um, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Again, sorry about all the mistakes, but I'm glad I made them so you don't. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.